Welcome! Today we're going to be tackling the visual memory test on the Human Benchmark website. But before we get into that, can I just say, according to YouTube statistics, none of you are subscribed because I don't have any subscribers. Oh, where was I? Oh yeah, visual memory test. So, today we're going to be tackling the visual memory test. This one's going to be a bit harder than the ones I've already done, and purely because it's hard to tell the program where exactly to click because it would be easy if it was just a three by three square like it is because it can just check every single square see if it's white and based on that it knows where to click but as you can see if we progress onto the next level it's become a four by four square so that same pattern won't work because the mouse clicks won't align so the way i'm going to attempt to do it is i'm going to take a screenshot of this area when it's showing me where to click and then what it's going to do is it's going to go through um, every five pixels or so it's going to check if the colors are the same if they are it won't click if they're not it'll click and it'll continue to go like that and hopefully it'll only click on the ones it needs to click so it'll just kind of keep comparing it to the screenshot it took at the start and yeah we'll see if that works which probably won't What, did, what, what, what does that even mean? I have no idea. Woo! I got somewhere. To the starting line. But still. And another unsuccessful attempt. Just doesn't want to do anything. But sometimes it does something, and then other times it doesn't. And that's the joy of coding, I guess. I I actually feel like an idiot sometimes. Um, I was wondering why it wasn't working. Might be because I was taking the two screenshots at the same time. So, of course they're going to be the same. <sighs> Why? Oh, okay. Okay. I like what I see. Well, I mean, that was impressive for the first level. I think it's just, um, it's hard to get the timings because I've just kind of tried to time when it needs to take the screenshots. So I'll have to fix that, but I mean, impressive performance so far. So in order to try and detect when there's another level, I'm going to just find the positions of these two numbers. So obviously next level means it's done well, if it loses a life, that also means it resets. And I'm just going to continuously check to see whether that's changed. And if it has, that's how the program will know that it is time for the next round.
So, I'm currently at the stage where it works perfectly fine for the first pass. Oh, just wait for it. There we go. And then it doesn't really work for the second one. Or any of them after that. It looks like it's working, but it's just clicking the same squares over and over again. And now it's done. I think it's done. Despicable. And now it just probably let me close down my recording software. Oh dear, I, sh I just need to get over to the stop recording button. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> Oh, wait. Ladies and gentlemen, we have lift off. It works. It does like over clicking. Um, in other words, just clicking on the white squares multiple times, you know, just in case it missed it the first time. However, hmm. oh, screw you. It's fine then. If you don't want to work. It was working a minute ago. <laughs> well, it seems to be working. Um, Overclicking very heavily. However, the problem I've been having is that it works, but not when I've got a recording software in the background. Probably because my computer is um, very slow. But it's working. Oh, there we go. That's what you like to see. Woo! Look at that. Well, I guess now we just leave it running until it crashes. I don't actually know how far this program can go, um, but theoretically it should just go on indefinitely until the resolution of the screen just isn't big enough. Well, this program has lasted a lot longer than I expected it to. Um, in fact, so long that I didn't leave enough time for recording. And I have an online class now, as you do. So, level 93 seems to be 100%, I hope. <laughs> what I can do is I'll make some more optimizations, increase the resolution of the program, and then run it and just see how far it gets when I have more time. Oh, it doesn't show up because it didn't finish. That's a problem. Whoops. Here we are. Level 105. Seems to be the absolute max I've um, managed to push it to so far. Can I go higher? Maybe. I don't know. Seems to broken down at this point. Is the grid too fine? I wasn't watching. Um, Took well over an hour to record this and um, oh yeah that's 
very far in the um, 100th percentile. Um, averages go up to eight, 18. Doesn't even go that high, this scale. I will do my best to see if I can push it any further, but that seems impressively high. But that wasn't enough for me. I wanted to go further. So I slowed the program right the way down and took it all the way to level 118, which took forever to do. Could I have taken it further? Probably. Do I care enough to do that? No.